Look guys, look guys, I've got a whole big box of trees that I'm going to plant out on our estate. Assorted trees, there are wattles there, two types of wattles, Acacia de Currens and Acacia Floribunda. I've got two types of tea tree. One is Melaleuca alternifolia, that's what you make tea tree oil out of. And the other is a little uh, Melaleuca lateriti, a little robin redbreast bush, that's good for the honey eaters. It has little uh, red bottle brushes on it, that's nice. I've got two lemon scented gums. And I've got a couple of, uh, what, what are they called? Uh, Hardenbergias. Hardenbergias, the pink ones. Sarsaparilla vine, they are. We used to make sarsaparilla out of the root in the old days, but anyway, I've got a whole assortment here of trees. Lovely. Let's have a little look at them anyway. That would be, uh, what's that? Oh, that's acacia, um, yes. I think it's acacia de currens, yes. And this must be... Acacia floribunda. That's called green wattle, and I think this is called, did I say fringed wattle? Um, yes. That's a little Melaleuca lateritia, so that's a robin redbreast bush that'll attract lots of honey eating birds. Of course, the acacias, the wattle trees, will make parrots happy. I've got the Hardenbergia vines, Hardenbergia, Hardenbergia, pink ones, so I can grow them anywhere, up the trees or wherever I like. They'll have beautiful pink flowers and the wattles will have beautiful yellow flowers. Um, lemon scented gum trees are nice. The leaves smell like lemon, so that's nice. Of course the flowers will make the birds happy. And it's a good firewood tree. Oh. What are these ones? These are tea tree from which tea tree oil is made, so that's something. So I've got all these wonderful trees and it's going to make my forest even a bigger forest and it's going to make all the birds happy. And it's wonderful, isn't it really? Quite wonderful. Quite wonderful. Just give it a couple of years time and there'll be lots more flowers. The tea trees, both types of tea trees have flowers that will attract other honey-eating birds. The gum trees attract honey-eaters. And of course parrots will be attracted to all these trees too. So that's wonderful. I'll come back in a couple of years time and tell you how it's all going. See ya. Let's go and plant them. A beautiful forest full of birds and shade and flowers and magic, full of magic. Just planted a lemon scented gum tree, it'll be nice. Just finishing watering it in. A lovely young seedling. It's going to do well. It's going to grow into a big lemon scented gum tree. I've done it before so I know. I don't want the birds to peck it up so I'll just make sure the ground is well sealed where I did my excavation. And it's spring now, so it's going to be growing really fast. Let's have a look at an adult lemon-scented gum tree. Eucalyptus citriodora, I think it is. There it is, with that, that light-coloured bark. That's a lemon-scented gum tree. Look at it. I planted that, what, 20 years ago? There it is, look at the beautiful smooth bark. When it loses its bark, it's all smooth underneath. There. 
I've just planted another one. It's going to be beautiful, isn't it? Home for birds, koalas, whatever. Not that we have koalas around here. A beautiful lemon scented gum tree. It's going to make the birds happy, isn't it? It is. It is. Something to be glad about. So there we are. My day wasn't wasted today. It wasn't. See ya. <laughs>